How you doing? I'm Jay Hennessy with Magical Stitches, and a couple of our customers uh, just purchased a uh, uh, the um, a regalia in the kinetic frame, and just wanted me to demonstrate again loading a quilt on. And there's uh, several ways you can do it, and um, I mean this is just um, my way of doing it. There's a lot of other ways, and I do it the old-fashioned way. I use pins. But uh, we'll start with, um, there's two ways I'm going to show you. One, just by floating the uh, batting in the top, and the other one is just by pinning. But uh, this right here is the back of the quilt, and you always face the back towards you, and you know, you, you want to start at the bottom of the quilt. So after you roll it up, the top of the quilt's up on top where you're going to start. So you always want the backing facing you. And this one's really not directional, but on a directional, you'd want to see you know, it upside down and facing you. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin this uh, and get this uh, done. Yeah, this, all the kind of uh, devices out there to uh, go ahead and you know uh, pin your uh, quilt on you know some you know they say uh, you know it makes it uh, quicker you know easier I mean I just like I said just do uh, you know with pins and uh, I mean you know it does a real fine job I normally space it about maybe six eight inches uh, not unless I get a quilt that's uh, been pieced and uh, kind of wonky a little bit. Well, then I might have to put a few more in and uh, really pull it kind of tight. This is just a, a piece of fabric, so there's no problem there. So see, right there is the bottom of the quilt that I'm starting to roll it. And then you just roll it up. You know, you go ahead and, you know, you don't have to make it real tight, but you just don't want any uh, cr uh, wrinkles in it. You know, and you can watch when a uh, quilt's really uh, straight, you'll see the edges. You know, you really have to watch it, mainly on the top, where, um, you know, the, it, it's rolling, you know, even like that. But like I said, being this back wasn't a uh, piece, did this one will roll real easy. All right, then I'll just pull the leader cloth up here. And I guess. And like I said, uh, you know, there's no right and wrong as far as, uh, I mean, some ladies might like to um, put it every three inches. I mean, if you feel more comfortable you know, putting it a little closer, I mean, you know, do it. You know, it, it's all up to you what you feel comfortable with. I mean, but really the preparation of putting, you know, the quilt on can result in a real nice quilted, um, uh, a quilted quilt or uh, one that you're gonna find the seam ripper. You know, there's some devices, and you, you can see them on YouTube and all over, you know, to put a king-size quilt on in 10 minutes. Well, I mean, that's fine, but I'm not in no race. You know, I, I mean, I enjoy it. I mean, there's no reason, you know, life goes on too fast already. You know, I mean, I enjoy uh, doing this. So, I mean, I always get it to about a couple inches before the pipe because the closest that I can quilt is about right there, about three inches from the pipe. So then you lock, then what I do is I put the lock on the rod right here, but if you did, and you did see that, that the quilt goes underneath, because I've seen some pictures where it, they put it up on top and you know, you know it has to be level. So then I will put the brake on right here and then just pull on the slack out of it. 
you know, and I always like to feel it. Uh, I mean, it's going to get a little tighter, but, you know, not where it's too tight, you know, but, you know, just where it is, uh, you know, it's, it's good and torn. Okay, and then uh, and, and even if I'm either floating the quilt or pinning the top on, I always, you know, just put the batting right here. And then stick it between the two pipes. And on, on the quilts, the top is always the bottom uh, the bottom uh, for the, um, the the bottom of the quill always. Right. Okay. Now, um, right here is the top of the quill. Uh, the lady uh, put yeah for, and being that you you can see which way the top is when you. Uh, Say if I'm floating it, why don't we go that way? If you're floating it, that's real easy. You just put it, you know, right about where you want. You know, like that. Uh, you know, you go ahead and pin it. Pin, and, and I'm not going to pin it, but you, you can see what I'm talking about. You know, just pin it straight. You know, um, sometimes what I do, to, especially if it's one that is really pieced with a lot of, um, you know, piece right at the top, I'll measure from the pipe to the way I want it. Normally, uh, you know, I'll measure like four inches, you know, go that way, because then I, then I can go underneath and pin it, but I'll show you that when I uh, actually pin the top. But th this is what, you know, the floating would look like, just like that. You can put a couple pins like that, and then I have a clamp uh, let me see, it's, hold on, one minute. And right here is, um, you know, either when I'm floating the quill or if I'm right at the end and you know, it, it's right at the edge. I'll go ahead and use these, and you just go ahead and push it, and it goes right around. You know, and, and see, because it's floating, so it's not pinned on the bottom uh, pole, and that's it. it it's all now You already had this pin, and um, the, this quilt ready to uh, quilt. You know, and then obviously, you know, you put the clamps you know, on the sides there to, to pull. Yeah, let me get that. Make sure, I mean, I always make sure that I get the bottom. The bottom in, in the batting, but the bottom is the most important. Because if you don't, you think that's a nice stitch on top and underneath the back is all wonky and there you go, you file you find in the seam ripper again. So I mean, right there is it, and uh, I kind of threw that that on just a little fast, but I, I right now I have it about an inch in of that, but I normally like, I tell my customers to at least give me three inches all the way around, so that way you can put the clamp, you know, on there, and it's away from your top, and it, you know, and then the machine won't hit the clamps. You know, this is a real small one, so. That, that, that's not a big issue there. Well, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And that was the floating of a quilt. And then I, I'll just show you to, um, to go ahead and pin it the way that I do do most of mine. So now what I'm going to do, because this is the bottom, just like I said with the top, this is the bottom. But this time, I, I want to have the, the good side in 
and then we're okay on the back side facing me yeah and it might look wrong but believe me when you rolling uh it up on the wrong on the rod it's gonna come out right See, and a lot of times too, I, I'll have, I'll have the the uh, batting. Uh, I'll normally do that last because this way I can be watching the back right here and know right where I want to put the top. So I'm, you know, in the margin of uh, uh, of the fabric. Yeah, but, but uh, you know, it, it just might look a little strange that you're putting the top of the quilt, you know, what you really want to see, that you're putting it where you, you're looking at the back side of it, but this is the way it's done. Then you just roll it up, just like you did the back. And normally, you know, the top is, you know, normally a piece a lot, and it's a lot more tricky it, it gives you a little workout especially when it's a king size but see I, i'm watching it and uh the, this is really lining up real good but with this piece you really got to keep going back and all i'm doing i'm not pressing you know the fat I'm, I'm just getting the wrinkles out you don't have to make that tight Okay, so then what I do is get the batting and just pull it down like that and just shove it in right between them. Just let it fall down. Okay. Right. okay. Now you just have to release the break on there because I, I rolled it up a little bit too much, but that's all right. So then you get it and you know, you, you go up to wherever you want to start at, you know, and see, I normally like to start, like I said, about three, three and a half inches from the pipe. That way, my uh, fingers can go because of just how I pin, but I, I'll put my finger underneath the uh, bottom so that I can, you know, just go ahead and pin it right at the edge. Yeah, I know a lot, you know, a lot of other uh, ladies and gentlemen that do a long arm, they can just pin right up on top. I guess I, my fingers aren't coordinated enough for that. So it's easy for me just to do it like this. But yeah, uh, what I, I mean, what I do is, I, you know, I just get a tape measure, and you don't need a tape measure. It's just, you know, it's just my way of doing it. You know, this is not in concrete. And right there, it's all at three inches. It's all at three inches there. Okay, now you got that pin. All I have to do is now uh, put the brake on there and then just, you know, just pull it to the desired um, tartness that, that I'd like. And, uh, you know, the thing's ready. I, I'll see, I'm, I'm feeling underneath and you can feel a little uh, resistance. You know, you, and I mean, I know just by feeling it, it's not baggy underneath. You know, and then what I do is just get a couple pins and this time, because I said with a big quilt that's pieced a lot, this is really a piece of fabric with, uh, you know, the applique on it. You know, then you can 
you know, pull any wrinkles out. You know, put a pin there. You know, now of course on your machine, you can go ahead and put a horizontal, you know, uh, so a line there. Uh, well, on a pro stitcher, you know, you can put the horizontal lock on it and you can start at one end and just move the machine with one hand and it'll do a straight line straight across. And then you know exactly, well, you know, how straight it is. Some ladies like to do that even on the back in the batting, do that and then use the fabric to go on that line. I mean, which is fine. Uh, you know, there's numerous ways um, that you can load a quilt. You know, it just, and this is just one of my techniques. So, and, uh, you know, uh, I mean, if there's any other questions, y'all can email, um, you know, the shop. And um, I'll go ahead and do, but um, I, I'll get uh, my next class will be um, doing some patterns and just really working um, with the pro stitcher. So um, y'all have a nice day and uh, I'll see y'all maybe in another week on, you know, on some trading.